When you perform a Google search, how does Google determine what order to show you your results? One of the most important algorithms Google uses to do this is called PageRank, and it's an algorithm that attempts to estimate the importance of a website. What does it mean for a website to be important? Well, the web consists of pages, and those pages can be connected to one another via links. And the PageRank algorithm generally assumes that if many other pages are linking to a particular page, then that page is probably important. So a web page that is linked to more would be considered more important than a web page that is linked to less. But there's a problem with that approach. The problem is that it's easy for someone to artificially inflate their own web page's importance. If I wanted to make my web page seem more important in the eyes of PageRank, for example, I could just create lots of other pages that all linked to my website. Using that strategy, I could make my website seem as important as I wanted it to be. So to really define what it means for a page to be important, we need to nuance our definition a little bit more. A page is more important the more it is linked to by other important pages. But this definition seems a bit circular. How can we calculate a page's importance if doing so requires knowing the importance of other pages? Well, one way to calculate this is using what's known as the random surfer model. The idea is this. Imagine someone browsing the web. They begin on some page chosen at random, and then they randomly pick a link from that page to another page that they visit. The random surfer keeps repeating this process. Pick a link randomly, visit a new page, pick another link, visit another page. The idea now is that we will keep score. We'll maintain a count of how many times our random surfer visits each page. Each time they land on a new page, we'll update that page's score. Pages that have more links to them are more likely to be visited, so they'll eventually have higher scores. And because those pages are more likely to be visited, the pages they link to are also more likely to be visited. So a link from a more important page will matter more than a link from a less important page. After we continue this process for a while, we can take a look at the resulting scores and calculate what percent of the total score each page's score is. This gives us some measure for the relative importance of these pages, represented as what percent of the time a random surfer on the internet can be expected to be on that page. There's still one problem with this approach, though, and it's the fact that pages on the internet might not all be connected to each other. Imagine a network of pages like this, for example. If we randomly start on this page, and we keep following links, we'll only ever visit one set of pages on the web, completely ignoring the rest of the internet since none of the other pages are reachable via any of the links from the pages we're currently visiting. So to solve this problem, we need to occasionally reset our random web surfing. We do this by introducing what's called a damping factor. If the damping factor is 0.85, for example, that means that 85% of the time, our random surfer will follow a link from the page they're currently on as they were doing before. 15% of the time, though, our random surfer will instead switch to a page on the internet chosen completely at random. With enough time, this ensures that we'll eventually explore all parts of this network of web pages and not get stuck at one particular set. This model lets us now take any network of web pages and calculate the relative importance of those pages. In the first few steps the random surfer takes, the numbers aren't particularly accurate. A lot is based just on random chance. But with enough time, the random surfer will continue to explore more and more, and the numbers will eventually converge to a stable page rank value for each page. And those values can then be used to determine what order search results should appear in, with the more important pages appearing first.
PageRank isn't the only way to calculate the importance of web pages, but it's a pretty effective way. And it ensures that, for the most part, when you search for something, the results you get are hopefully the results you actually want.